morning. Today is Saturday the 3rd of June 2023 and this is my little intro to episode 1 of Plum Tree Cottage Gardening in New Zealand. Hello. Oh look at this, look at this one. This is smoky. Oh, been in a float. So this video, I think I started at mid-May. Um, that was when I kind of decided that I might start. Oh, the cat's not the tripod. <laughs> That's when I thought I might start doing um, these videos. So <clears throat> what you're going to see is just a couple of weeks worth of little clips showing what I was doing in the garden this during May. Um, it is going to be quite heavy on the chicken content because, as you might know, I got chickens um, a couple of weeks ago. So enjoy. Um, if you have any questions, just leave them down below in the comments. All right. I'm going to finish editing this video and get it up for you. Take care. So these are all the pieces of the chicken coop, which I'm just going to wait for my electric screwdriver to charge. Um, it's a bit of a palace. And then if we come around to this, this mess in here, there's shit everywhere. These all need to go to the dump. They are, um, my daughter Jess's grandmother's house got flooded during the cyclone and Jess brought all the, these photos and pictures home that had been sitting in a box and we salvaged all the photos out of them but the frames are buggered so Jess kind of needs to deal with that really. So this is where our firewood lives, <clears throat> down the side here. But a lot of recycling and rubbish tends to sort of blow in the gaps. So it's all got to be swept up and tidied up. I've just stacked all this. This is the leftovers from last year. Oh, there was a little bit on this side as well. This is all macrocarpa. Sorry, lights flashing. Um, and they were in these two big bins here. But now I've got all this to stack <laughs> and just a general tidy up there's the, a lot of weeds on the driveway I just want to make it a little bit nicer so we'll see whether my chest my chest deals with it and we might have a buyer for mum's car too so that's that's good as well so I will report back in done <laughs> the chicken palace is done <laughs> Oh, I've still got a bit of wood to do, but I did this to have a rest. So I have put it all together. If I can figure out how to open this little doodacky look. So it's its little. <laughs> so I have to get some hay. And yeah. And you can see, like, the painting is pretty bad on this, so I'm actually going to go over it with house paint um, and maybe restain the sides too so that it's more waterproof. So that's the little house. And then they'll have a um, big fenced-off area to roam around in during the day. Look, there's even a window. Can you see in there? And this little thing slides so I can put them to bed. Slide it shut. <laughs> so funny. I might put, can you see the light up there? I might put a foam strip up there because I don't want them to get cold in the winter. Um, yeah. But we'll see. We'll see how watertight it is. I might have to silicon some gaps. 
this tray comes out so that I can clean it. So that's good. This is a very exciting new chapter in my life. Right, I'll just I'll take you out and show you what I've done with the wood. Look at my mess. Oh, hello, Smokey. Come on. So <laughs> I've done a whole area there, but I need to start a new row. And yes, I've probably picked up half the wood that was out here. But yeah, my body was starting to get really sore, so I thought, well, have a break. Jess bought me home a sugar-free V, so I have to start. So I'm gonna have to move all that crap out of the way there. Um, and I was going to weed down there, but I think when I get the chickens, I might fence them in there for a day and let them just um, tear up all those weeds. <laughs> so, yeah, we're coming along. So I'm just going to sit down for a little bit. And then I'm going to move all the stuff out of the way, sort out what's rubbish. Stack the rest of the wood, because otherwise I probably won't get it done after work this week. Especially after today, I'll probably be buggered. That's, that's for duck shooting. You hide in it. Um, yeah, and we've had quite a bit of wind, so I need to go and find all the bits of recycling that blown out of the bin. I need to water these. I hung these under the tree. They're way better there than they are hanging up against the house. You can see that. Sparrow up there having a good little chatter. And you can see I've got all these little cyclamens which have just self seeded all through here. So I've pulled some up and I've put them in these pots so they'll be nice. Oh, you're so happy up there. Very happy. Stay torn. Yeah, and hopefully we'll get this bloody roof over this soon. Um, there's stuff everywhere, absolutely everywhere. Things have blown, and yeah, most of that is a ground cover rather than weeds, but it does need another little weed. Wind blew a tree down, you can see that right down there, branch of a tree. But the chickens are going to live in that corner. And then they can just free range when I'm home. Dig up the garden. <laughs> oh, look at this. Oh, there's little... I don't know, are they native bees? I'm not sure what they are. They seem to be happy. So yes, we'll have a little sit down now. And then this will be ready to put, put down in the backyard. Uh, it's 20 to 4. I've just been sitting down and resting a little bit. My back is very, very sore. Well, actually everything is. But that's the state of the wood heap. And I've just raked up all these little bits gonna have to find a bin or something to put them in. I think that's me for the day though. <clears throat> and now with the state of this house it's all the um the wrapping from the chicken coop but I'm pouring a bath yep there's dirty laundry in here um, and I'm using um, actually I should really check to see what my face looks like oh it's not too bad I have a real crusty nose <laughs> because um, I've got a cold <coughs> So yeah, I feel a bit of a state, so I think a bath is in order to try and 
loosen everything up and then I can have a little tidy up around the house now. Hello, hello, hello. Today's Thursday, it's after work. It's a very overcast day. And as you would have seen for the last clips, I finished the chicken house. Well, the chickens are going to be here tomorrow. Um, I will need to get that chicken house moved down to where it's going to live. But I'll have to wait until someone can come home and give me a hand. But I've got some chicken wire and posts to stick in the ground to create the chicken coop area. <laughs> can you see the confidence in my face? It's nicely positioned in my outdoor work area, also known as the deck. <laughs> right, so this is the corner that I put all that brush stick fencing on. Might have to cover that little corner there, I'm not sure. Um, so I'm just going to position them in, under these trees because they'll still get the morning sun in the winter because there's no leaves on these trees. And then in the winter, in the summer, they will have lots of shade and a little bit of morning sun, but they can go wherever they like. So that is the plan. So let's get going. Well, our light's fading. It's a little while later. So I'll show you what I've done. I'm going to have to go and try and fix it to the fence a little bit better. But I've attached these posts with um, staple nails just to hold the bottom skirt of the fence down all the way down there um, this will be a gateway I'm not going to worry about that tonight and then in here is the little chicken house and we've got the peach plum tree another peach and around here all this delectable goodness for the trippies. So in the winter, in the mornings, they're going to get all the light that's going to come through from that side, around there. And they'll also get light up that way. So yeah. I'll update you tomorrow. Girls. Look at you. How about we just do this? Oh, look at that. What's that? Hey, look at you. Say hi, Dal. I've opened the door for you, and there's food downstairs. Okay. See if they come out. Oh, 
have no idea what they're doing in there. Come on, girls. You can do it. You can do it. Good girl. Aren't they beautiful? Oh yeah, you found it. This is your breakfast. She's a bit unsure as to how to get down. You can do it. Come on. You got up there. for them. Mm -hmm. yeah, the other two haven't come out yet. I'm sure they will. Mm -hmm. I've still got water in your little canister thing. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. What about you? Come on, you can do it. Come on. Come on. Yay! Breakfast time for everybody. Okay. And when you guys are a bit more settled, I'll clip those wings and then you can come out here. I don't want you escaping those problem. Yeah, it's a little bit brisk in here. I don't think there'll be eggs. They're probably a bit too young for eggs, but we'll just check their little nest just in case. <coughs> Let's have a look. No. Oh, there's some big boo poos in there. I'll have to clean those later. I don't even think they lay in the nesting bit yet. They haven't quite figured that out, I don't think. <coughs> Let's have a look down this way. Hi, Joe. Hello, little girls. Hi, ladies. Look at you. Aren't you beautiful? Aren't you beautiful? Oh, this chicken spam. Right, I'm going to go and empty their food tray from yesterday and give them a wash. So I was chatting away and realised I hadn't hit record. So there you go. They're having a good old time. Scoping out all the perimeters of their uh, enclosure. I'm going to clip their wings because, well, I couldn't grab hold of them. But when they have tri done a little flap and lift, they haven't gone that high, so I think they'll be all right. And I think at this stage, while we do have neighborhood cats and stuff, until they get bigger, it might be nice for them to be able to flap up and defend themselves a bit better. So we'll just see how we go. Darling, what's it doing? Hi, Joe. Hi, 
Joe. Look at you. Come on. See what I mean? They're not really. I think their flight wings are that high. So, if I do, I'll get Evan to give me a hand too. It's probably easier if I'm holding one. And, um, and the wing out and getting him to snip those feathers. Look at you, you're nuts! Chasing each other around. Having a good old time. Okay. Oh, they're getting a little bit too excited now. There's no goodies over there, guys. So you just stay inside your little house. <laughs> Sticking its head through the fence to get the grass is not greener on the other side, mate. Little mischiefs. Oh, there's some bugs down there or something that they're liking. What? Hello, hello. <coughs> that was my knickers on the ground. Had the day off today. Got a chest infection, so <coughs> um, I've just spent the day resting. I'm just going to go out. I need to change the newspaper in the chicken coop. And oh, in there, it's underneath the roosting thing. And I'm going to feed them inside their hutch so that they go to bed. Um, <laughs> look at them. Oh my god, they're so funny. I had two escape today and I couldn't figure out where they're gone. I actually, I, um, clipped their wings this morning little buggers but they were they were over in that mess over there that, that bit of paddock that doesn't get mown properly right my highly technical gate which is not uh, I need to I need to actually sort a proper way uh, of opening this at some stage but not today Hey girls, let's put this on here. I'm gonna clean this out before I put it away. Hey girls, look at you showing off on there, eh? Glad to see the four of you all in here. Yeah, I was feeling like crap, and I thought I'll grab some fresh veggies out of the garden and throw them in for them. And there are only two in here. And after looking and looking and looking, I finally saw a couple of heads over there. And the neighbour's little black cat was in there as well. And um, he, she was stalking them. Oh, so I had to get a ladder. Right, girls. Yeah, to try and get over the fence, because last time I tried to get over this fence, I got stuck. Hey, say hello. So, this one in front of me, I think she's a bit of a shit stirring sort of mischief one. <laughs> she's a bad influence. Well, I think it's her. Yeah, she's one of the bigger ones. And I think the two paler ones were the ones left in here. Little buggers. They're loving it in here. Look at all this. These weeds. They're loving the weeds. <clears throat> I do have a few plants and bulbs that I'm going to pull out. So I'll do that over the next few days. But for now, I've got to do some cleaning. There they are. They're all just having a good little feast. And they've been very good going up into their little box at night. So when it's dusk, I'll come out and I'll I open up this little door. <coughs> Excuse me. When I see them all in there. And then I just poke my hand in and I slide the little internal door 
shut that little door that's in there. Hey, hey girl, what you doing? I do talk to them like babies. Gave me a bit of a fright. Lucky I wasn't at work this morning, really. Oh dear, I can't be home. Got chicken food there. Can't be home every day to make sure. I just don't know how they got over there because <coughs> before I clipped their wings, they were sort of flapping their arms, their wings around, and they weren't really getting that much lift off. So I've got no idea. So I just had to drop those down on the ground. Oh, I have to excuse the heavy breathing. I've been lifting heavy things. Right. <laughs> so this beauty. <clears throat> uh, backstory. Evan's friend owns a tyre shop. And he invited himself to make us one of these. Which is um, such a nice thought, but... Kind of not really our cup of tea. However, this gate usually stays open. So I've decided that I'm going to plant bulbs in here, like a bulb lasagna, and they'll look quite nice. So wish me luck. Okay, so you can see that's how the fence kind of sits. So they're all potted up in there, and I'll tell you what's in there. I've got... Uh, a ranunculus, uh, anemone, anemone. <laughs> um, hang on, I'll turn my face around. Oh, not very good at this anymore. Anemone. Oh, shivers. Sorry, <laughs> I just about dropped my phone. Um. Anemone and what was the other things I put in there? Uh, Freesia and did I say ranunculus? And miniature iris. I've also got some gladdies there and I've ordered some tulips and axias all to go in the gardens so yeah hopefully you can see all that bit of a mess i've still got a heap of housework to do but i just wanted to go out and do that oh i feel pooped right off to see the chickens good morning it's sunday the 28th of may and I've just come out here and I'm just giving this area a good clean up. So I've got my speaker there to listen to music. Um, I've been using the line trimmer to get most of the worst of the weeds from around the garden beds. And then I'll weed by hand around the trunks of the trees. And I've done this side and I've tried to reposition the um, passion fruit started growing on that trellis before the trellis was in place so I've untangled it and but the trellis is just lying there so it might blow over I'll have to do something with that um so I've done in here I've got to rake up all that stuff and I'm just in the middle of deadheading all the status and the dianthus tidy that up and then I'll start on this area here the chook girls are good, they're happy. So yeah, I'll update you as I go. Well, here we go. This is where the lawnmower man dumps the grass clippings, which is a bit of a pain, but never mind. They're too soggy and heavy for me to lift at the moment. Come around here. That's all nice and tidy. Well, ish. In there. And I've cleaned up a little bit down by that star jasmine down there as well. And I see I've missed some bits. Oh, I need to pick some lemons. 
need to fertilize it too. The chickens are happy. It looks a bit rough because I've I've left that sheet on there, but I need to um, take it off and hang it up to ear. It's just a drop sheet that it's used for painting. <laughs> so cute. They were funny before they were up on the roof, <laughs> looking at me like cheeky little tarts. So there you go, that area is way tidier. So I'm going to go and have a shower now. Because look at the state of me. Woo. That is the state of me. So I'm going to go and have a shower because I want to wash these jeans I'm wearing. So I'll have a shower, wash those jeans, and then I might have a nice cuppa and a few knitting podcasts I'd like to watch for a little rest and then I'll get back into it. <laughs>